Hello everyone, in this episode of Motive Garage, we take our GR Yaris to Wakefield to see if all the modifications work, and most importantly, can we set the lap time for the quickest Yaris around Wakefield. If you've been watching Motive Garage and Day Job Build Series on our GR Yaris, you'll see that we've done quite a lot of little modifications now with the number one goal of being the quickest GR Yaris around Wakefield. Why have we chosen that as our benchmark? Well, simple really, quite a lot of GR Yaris have been there and run some quick lap times. The tune house car has got a 108 flat with their interceptor on it and a set of Zestino tyres, so what's our goal? Well, I'd say a fair bit quicker than both is our goal. Let's see if we can get the job done. Before we headed to Wakefield Raceway for a track school's track day, we decided to step our tyre game up a little bit with Zestino Tyres Australia offering us to test the first set of Circuit 07S tyres, which is their new R-Comp semi-slick they are developing for racing that requires a DOT tyre. We were given a medium compound in a 265-35-18, which surprisingly still fits under the GR Yaris guards, no problem at all. The guys at Prestige Tire and Auto are the leading Zestino tires dealer, and they fitted and balanced the tires for us on our WEDS TC05 18 by 9.5 plus 39 wheels that we use for track work. Our first job at Wakefield was to fit the vented bonnet and fit some wool tufts to check the negative pressure duct is doing its job properly. Since we had no data on the new tyres, I took the car out first to scrub them in and see how the pressures and temps responded. You can see here from the onboard footage that the wool tufts are all pointing out of the negative pressure duct, so we know that it's doing its job. The first laps were taken very easy to scrub the top layer of the tyre off before pushing hard enough to get some temp into the tyres. I was surprised that I was able to do a 1 minute 9.3 in the car rather easily within a couple of laps. Returning to the pits, we checked the pressures and temperatures and made some adjustments to the pressures before giving the car to John Boston. Due to being late to the track, we missed the optimum morning conditions and had to run during a passenger session with traffic as well.
107.64 and a 107.65. Oh wow, so I just tried a, a slightly different technique going through turns three and four. Uh, actually felt a little bit better, but uh, the result obviously um, wasn't uh, wasn't any better. And um, I, I just think the heat has got to the car a little bit. So um, uh, we, we definitely need to cool it down a little bit and maybe come back out and, uh, and try and uh, smash that number. But um, 107.6, fastest Yaris uh, here at, uh, at Wakefield Park with... Um, uh, very minimal mods and um, obviously a, a, a street driven car. Ew! The tyres have got more grip than the, um, uh, the 07RS Zestinos. Um, you know, it's still got a little bit of wheel spin, you know, coming onto the straight in second gear and even coming out of the fish hook in second. So, you know, it was, it was actually quite difficult to, to get a lap or a clear lap. So. Yeah, and that's why it took me so long to just do that initial one. It did a 764 and then just trying to do a, a second one. But by then, the tyres, I think, had you know, gone off a little bit and, uh, and the temperature's just a little bit higher. But then, not just uh, in uh, ambient, but I, I think the car as well. So, you know, I definitely want to give it another go. You know, hopefully um, when it's just a little bit quieter, you know, maybe we need to try and do that on the first flying lap. You know, that's the idea. We, we, we know time attack spec. We, we know that's when the car is going to be its fastest. You know, it feels unreal. Like, you know. <laughs> well, that's what I was going to ask next is my biggest impression of driving the car was just the, the, the ability to rotate mid-corner control um, and just how it feels now with the anti-lift kit and the alignment and everything. Like, to me, it felt totally different. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Like, it, it does. It, feel, it feels like a new car. And, um, yeah, it, you know, it has got a little bit of lift off over steering and everything like that. So, you know, but you understand, you know, a car manufacturer that's building a, a vehicle like this, they're going to make it more of an understeery car for the, uh, uh, you know, the Joe Blow, the general public. So they know um, they'd rather have the front sliding rather than the rear sliding because the average person is going to struggle to control the rear. So for us, we want the rear to slide. So obviously what you have done, you know, a few little mods, you know, thanks to white line and, you know, a few, a few little geometry settings, um, you know, it's made it that much nicer as a driver's car. Um, Would you say it's more fun now? Oh, for sure. Like, you know, for, for me, absolutely. Absolutely, you know, <laughs> hands down. Uh, you know, it's it's a lot more fun. So because not everyone can afford semi slicks and race seats and all that sort of stuff. So no, like, and, I, and I get that. You know, yeah. so they're 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 an awesome car. Like you know, they're built to a price and they're they're built you know to obviously for people to have fun to a certain skill level. And obviously they've made them that if you want to modify them, go to your heart's content. You know, do whatever you want to do. And and what you have done is still relatively basic stuff. Like you know, you look at jet 200 to the extreme and it's like that's evolved over the years and this is just how many hours worth of work or how many days worth of work and you've turned transformed the car into a you know a, a good car into a, an awesome car um so yeah no it's it's great as i said I, i'd love to um you know have another crack and you know just even the as I said the ambient temperature i reckon in the morning would have been better like that's a seven six like I, i've i've got a gut feeling it's on the cusp of a, of a high six or a, a low seven possibly if everything, all the stars align. So, mate, which is seriously fast. Wakefield is known to get slower as the day progresses, even more so on a hot day like this. So with no chance of a PB, I decided to enjoy the car for a few sessions.
So at the end of the day, the fuel light is on in the Yaris. We've had a heap of fun and we get to take it home safely with no dramas, no damage, didn't have to put a spanner on it. Uh, the main priority was to be the quickest Yaris around Wakefield, which we've now done. We did a 107.6. Um, my goal was a high 106. We didn't get there though, probably more due to our own fault than anything else. If we'd got here first thing in the morning and beat out on track at 9.30 when the track opens, we would have had a much more chance of getting a good lap time because this track, when the sun's out and it gets warm, uh, the track deteriorates and you just get slower and slower. Bozo couldn't even match that time when he went again later, let alone better it. So our goal is to come back again and try and get out on track as soon as it opens on, you know, and try and use that cool track, cool air to sort of get a quicker number and get into the 106s. We may or may not have some more mods before next week when we come back, but we are going to be coming here probably almost every week for the next four weeks as mods arrive for the car with the, the only goal just being to go quicker. Being quick as Yaris is just more of a little bonus and a bragging right to try and help encourage other people to come out and try and beat us and obviously see what's possible with the car. Um, the main thing for me is the driving feel in this car now is just epic. It's all well and good that it's quicker, but if it was quicker and harder to drive or quicker and boring, it's not always good. The mods we've done to this car not only make the car quicker, they're fun. The car's character and behavior now is, its as Bozo said as well, very different to a standard car when you actually sort of know what you're looking at. I mean, obviously it still feels like a Yaris, but its this has just been transformed from being a good car to a great car, from being sort of, you know, fun to just, a, a ball like this thing is so much fun to drive now around the track you can steer from the rear a little bit better even before we put an lsd in it now with lift off over steer on corner entry you can do way more corrections mid corner and the car doesn't unsettle uh it's just heaps of fun really enjoyable you really trust the car as well um what else can you ask for it really is the ultimate car that you can drive every day put it in track trim or even just leave it in the trim that you have it for the street and come to the track and just have a barrel load of fun in it <laughs>